Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you guys my favorite way to stay organized with dates and appointments by making a calendar in Excel. So first we're going to start in cell B4 and just track the days of the week, giving ourselves some room above and to the right. We can drag Sunday all the way across to column H for Saturday. And then what we can also do is highlight a bunch of the columns in the sheet, right click, and then for the column width, we're going to do with 16 and hit OK. This way we can fit everything we need to fit in each column. And then for this calendar, the year we are going to demonstrate is 2025. And January 1st, 2025 was on a Wednesday. So we're just going to type in 1 slash 1. And then you'll see it's formatted to say 1st of January. I'm going to switch the formatting by clicking on the cell. And then in the number group up here, we can click the drop down menu and hit short date, 1-1-2025. And then after this, we can drag this all the way across to Saturday. So January 4th, 2025 on a Saturday. And so that we don't have to keep doing this for every single row, all 52 or 53 weeks of the year, I'm gonna go into cell B6, which would be Sunday, January 5th, and type in equals, click on Saturday the 4th, plus one, and hit enter. And then we can continue this by going to cell C6 equals January 5th plus 1, hit enter. And then we can drag this all the way across to Saturday. Now that we have this second row, a complete week, we can highlight this and drag it all the way down to row, I believe 57 would do it. Yep. And we have all the way to the end of the year on December 31st, 2025 on a Wednesday. And then it even gets the starting dates for 2026 as well. Now, one thing I want to do to kind of get rid of this formula um, and just display the dates hard coded rather than the formula, we can highlight this entire set of data, all the dates. And I'm going to right click copy and then in the same range again, right click and we want to paste the values. So then you can see if we click on a random date, it's now November 6th rather than the previous cell plus one. We can hit escape to get out of that and go back up to the top. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to highlight the all the rows in our range and right click on that and we can change the row height to 30 so we can fit more that way as well, hit okay. I'm then going to highlight every cell in the sheet by clicking up to the left here. And then I'm going to go to the alignment tab and center the text and center it vertically as well. One more time, I'm going to highlight everything, but including the headers of the days of the week, highlight everything. And then this drop down menu for borders, we will select all borders. And for a little bit of formatting for the headers, we're going to highlight this entire row. We can bold them. We can up the font size a little to size 14. We can make the fill color a dark blue. And then so the text pops out, we can make the text color white. One other thing I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to click on row five. And then in the view tab, I'm going to go to freeze panes and select freeze panes. This way now we can drag down and the day of the week will still display um, without it going away as we scroll down on the calendar. So another thing I like to do for my Excel calendar is when a day is finished, I'll put an X over it. So say like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday here, put an X when the days are done and say January 1st happens, you put an X over it, you know that date is done. But I also want it to format so that you kind of know the day is done where it is more visually appealing as well. So we can add some conditional formatting to make that happen by highlighting columns B through H. And then we can select conditional formatting and create a new rule. And then I'm going to click on format only cells that contain and the cell value that can stay. But for the between drop down menu, we are going to change this to equal to. And then in the final box, we are just going to type in a capital X. So this will format all cells where the cell value is equal to X. 
and then we can format this as well by selecting the format button. So for the font, we're going to make this X bold. And for the color, we're going to select a dark green. We can then go to the fill. And for the fill color, we'll make it a light green. And we can hit OK and OK. And you can already see that the X's are being filled out in the green colors that we just set up the rule for. And at this point, you can kind of set up your calendar however you want it. Um, but I'll show you a few things I like to do. Off to the side, I'll kind of create uh, an answer key where I'll have work, holidays, or people's birthdays. And then, for example, work, we can change this color to orange. And then maybe you'll fill out the work days of the week, Monday through Friday, in orange, adjusting for what days you don't have to work. And then holidays, you could make that its own color, like a pink. And you can make this holidays or vacation. So let's say you're taking the first week of February off to go on vacation. You could highlight those days. Let's say it's Saturday to Saturday. You're taking work off those days. You could do something like that. And then if you want to remember people's birthdays or other things like that, you could say birthdays are blue and say March 1st, we'll make it blue and say this is Peter's birthday. We could type that in. And this is basically how I do it. I try to look at it at the beginning of the week and then update when things come up. Um, there's different kinds of apps you could use to track stuff, but I like this version of a calendar because it's easy to scroll down and see the whole year in one place rather than you're on an app and you're swiping through different weeks and months. I'll leave a link to a template for this in the description of the video, so feel free to use that, make a copy, and customize your own calendar. I think it's a really good tool, so I hope it helps out a few people. Don't forget to leave a like if you learned something and you enjoyed, and as always, thanks for watching.